Before I got to Fox, I was what I call a baby Christian. I was still really figuring things out. I was very excited to come to Fox. I had this mindset that I'd be the star football player and I would I leave my footprint at Fox. When I first came to Fox, I was really excited, but I was also riddled with insecurities. It was to the extent that it was really hard to love people well. And I remember praying that God would release me from these insecurities. When I first came to Fox, I didn't really have a whole lot of expectations. I'm a first generation college student. Everything I knew about college was pretty much what I got from the movies. I grew up playing softball and it's one of the biggest connections that me and my dad have. I decided to look into studying biology because I lost my dad to melanoma skin cancer and decided, hey, maybe, maybe I could go into cancer research and really do something to kind of live out my dad's legacy a little bit. I think I just never looked back at that point. I had some stumbling blocks along the way, a few injuries, and it was weird. They would kind of add up on top of each other, and it would kind of just put me back out of practice for one day and then it'd be a week. And it made me really challenge how, how I approached God and how I viewed God. If you have me here to play football, why have me hurt? I felt God pulling me towards different film projects. The first was a documentary that I received a research grant for, and the documentary focused on the sex offender population and what restoration and health looks like in that community as well as society and that was such a hard experience for so many different reasons. It took me three years to finish it. It was a really, really humbling project to take part in. I was here, I was ready to learn, ready to make some friends, and I was also ready to change my life around a little bit. In high school, I was like that quiet kid, never spoke. I came in as a bio major interested in medicine, and then I ended up switching to nursing, and then eventually ended up switching to athletic training. One thing that I found really challenging was really figuring out if what I was doing was where God wanted me to be. There was just a sense of being lost and not really knowing where I was headed or if I was making the right decisions. Like I said, I was a baby Christian coming in here, coming out of a pretty rough couple years in high school. And here I've seen just really big things from him changing my heart from bitterness to forgiveness, which is something I'm really not good at. My junior year, I was offered a position as the video producer for George Fox. And initially I actually didn't really want to take the job. I was worried that it would somehow detract from my experience here, but I knew that God wanted me to do it. And honestly, it's been the most incredible experience. Isaiah 64, eight reads, Yet you, O Lord, are a father. We are the clay, you are the potter. We are all the works of your hand. I had this plan of who I wanted to be and God had a completely different idea. My love for the Lord changed completely, that I had a desire for Him more than I've ever felt in my life. And my desire was to love others on the team, to pray for them, to pray with them. I've seen God work in my life, in relationships mostly, because like I said, I like getting to know people. But early on, it was very superficial. And then after that, it became this whole journey of, of our vulnerability. It was actually just a week ago. I was talking with a friend and we were discussing the ways that God is, has worked to change us and transform us during our time here at Fox. And I realized while we were talking that that prayer that I had asked God to answer my freshman year, He had done it through film. Although the injury seemed devastating and it wasn't what I had planned, God had a better plan and I don't think I would trade that season in for any other season. One of the biggest things is being kind of overwhelmed by his greatness. I realized that, wow, like, I can't fathom that we don't have this awesome creator when I'm studying the small little things that make the body work. Film for me had always been an expression of an ability that I had, of a strength that I had, and he used that skill to humble me. The degree of freedom that I have the ability to experience now compared to where I was my freshman year is unrecognizable. What I've learned about God through that process is he's very patient, he's very gracious and loving, and very forgiving. Throughout my time at Fox, I've 
really just come to learn that God is here. He's all around us, He's ever present. I have come to see that God is incredibly faithful. God is more than enough. 